Today we're going to the Norfolk Motor Home Show in Norwich. Made it to the show. Let's go and see. in the back. Big dragonfly above your head. Oh, it's gone there. We can't, um, stop that wash. Don't like that one? Sue so says this one's a bit pricey. Approaching 80,000 pounds by the time you get all your bits and pieces. But, um, my view is this is quite a high quality unit. You can see by the uh, the finish on the cupboards here. Let's see what the washroom is like. You can see. Fine, thanks. Yeah, have a good look. To say that is a really nice fan. The lockers are huge. With a positive catch. I remember from last time, place for TV. And uh, when you're down this end of the lounge, you've got a uh, nice bit of working space. And two swivel seats. Lovely van. Certainly in my top five. Here's a used one. 2012. $31,500. Short wheelbase, wet rooms, all in good condition. Now get a look at a German option, the Heimer Yosemite, the shade under 60,000 with an automatic box on a Fiat Ducato. Uh, let's hop inside and have a little look. The fridge just inside the door here, swivel seats making up your lounge and the nice thing about this one is Control 
bottles above the door. Nice compact little kitchen. And the bed on this one drops down, folds up for daytime. A little bit high for me, I like um, to have the rear lounge a little lower down, but of course you do have room in the alleyway gangway here for bikes. That room's very nice. the current Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Big step at the back. We're going to go and have a, look, a little look in the Besser cars. This one's a 65 plate. £47,000. Yeah. And this layout is really good if you've got a family because you've got a dining area here, six seat belts so you can carry four passengers plus the two in the front and you've got a nice little lounge there which is the equivalent of our lounge in the Bolero. Um, really nice lighting here. And of course, a drop down bed, which comes down as well. So already you're sleeping four people in the front of the van. And then if we come about, what you got in there, Sue? So nice. That's all. I've got a shower screen that you can cross. Yeah, that's quite a nice compromise. And, yeah. Typical wet room. Two plugs in the shower tray, which is really handy if you're not quite level on the ground. And you haven't got a curtain, have you? Aggie light. And there's a door that pulls across. Like the funky So it you can manage without a curtain. Really nice. I imagine that would be quite easy to wipe out after you've had a shower, so uh, That's a nice quite practical. Thing. Little flappy lid on for the kitchen to extend your workspace, and a microwave oven, and a squeaky door. Uh, this is the lounge, I guess. Big wardrobe. Oh yes, big wardrobe. With this aerial TV aerial, and so on, on the electrics down there, and then the big lounge, which is what you buy a van like this for. The nice thing about the rear lounge is the panoramic view that you get from the back. So if it's a rainy day you can have a good look outside without getting wet, can't you? Lots of storage in the back. Another skylight there. And an extractor fan above my head. Really nice fan for its money, Sue. Like new, yep. yep. Another Better car, this time 16 plate, £46,000 and a really nice looking van. Let's go and see what it's like inside. Yeah, we can have a party in here. This is the one model with, uh, or the layout with a uh, big lounge. I think we looked at an auto sleeper with the same layout as this. Huge floor space in the middle of the van. Um, you can put two tables up there and probably see eight people. Lots of lockers and storage space, plenty of light. Um, again, cupboards are really nice. Very smart van. That's the downside, is there's no seat belts on these seats, so you are Limited to two uh, driving along. That's right. Microwave oven. Just have a quick look in the washroom. As you'd expect, a rear washroom. 
lots and lots of space. Really nice clean van this. They've obviously prepared it well for resale. With an enormous wardrobe in the back here. With hanging space, uninterrupted hanging space. Frosted window and a cassette toilet with and there's two Bailey advances to choose from. Both brand new, around forty-seven thousand pounds. Let's go and take a look at one. First thing you can notice about the Bailey, really nice and airy, lovely clean lines, not quite such a high spec. And then the washroom. It's not fully lined, this wet room. And there's a shower uh, curtain, which would worry me a bit. Nonetheless, everything there that you might possibly need. The second Bailey Advance on a nice low line chassis. It's not a very high step into the van. As you can see, plenty of light again, nice big open lounge in this one. Compact kitchen, everything you might need there though. Microwave above. This one's French bed to the side. And wardrobe space in the centre here. Huge lockers above the bed there for storing all your stuff. And then the rear washroom, again, typical of its type. Lots of room. No frosted window. This time it's a Bailey Autograph, slightly higher spec, slightly higher price, 50, £55,000. Let's take a look. Similar layout to the uh, Advance, but this is the Autograph. Nice shiny lockers on this one. Everything looking a little bit more at market. French bed and corner bathroom in this layout. Larger fridge with a freezer unit in the top. And a similar washroom to the one we saw before with a cubicle in the rear for the shower. French bed is the feature of this one. Cut off on there. As long as you're not two six footers, I think you'll be okay. As you see, lots of light, really nice lounge and cab area, which is the selling feature on this particular model. Interesting to see a 17 plate Bolero, almost as identical registration number to our original number plate before I changed it. Let's go and have a little look inside this one. Much shorter Bolero. This is the baby one of the range. Of course, the Bolero's now, Bolero's now been replaced by the Besser car. Swift have dropped Bolero as a brand. And uh, the Besser car, in reality, is pretty much the same in 2018. This one's probably a year old. Kitchen in the rear. Really nice lounge up front here. 
lots of light. I mean, this is a huge window in front here. You step up into the lounge as you do. Still plenty of headroom though. Nice little kitchen, really nice van. I like this one. Super for touring and uh, really flexible little van. You can park it in Sainsbury's with no problem at all if you do that sort of thing. Okay. It's a little stiff, but it does open. The carpets are all in there. Hanging space. And the washroom, as you expect, fully lined shower. Really nice cupboards. They do put in little cupboards like this for putting your lotions and potions so they don't fall out all over the floor when you're driving along. Another little cupboard down there. The usual big mirror and nothing to disappoint with the Bolero really nice van uh, one that we keep coming back to auto sleeper Fairford Really nice, quite like the uh, the beige. This is the uh, lime wash uh, cupboards. All right. If they have. You like this one, don't we, Sue? Yeah. Warwick XL. Privacy glass. Peugeot chassis. Rear lounge, 6.3 metres long. Lovely. Somebody just closed the van door, which made a thud. Quite normal. So he's found something a little bit different. Storage. We've got a seat near at this end as well, haven't we? Twin swivel seats. Yeah. Seems quite spacious up the front here. Look at that. That's a cool thing. Oh, that's a wine cooler. Oh, I say. Is that sold? <laughs> that's a wine cooler. Put your nice wine in there. Nice fridge. That's rather nice. Look at this little thing. We've got in that thing. one. Look, that's nice. Storage. Oh, and a shoot. pull out surface. Oh, and you've got a pull up. Got lift up. Pull up sockets. So oh, pull up. Yeah, well you've got your bathroom in here, have you? Washroom in here. So that little square That's cubicle. Handy. If you're in a hurry, you just nice wet room. Rush in and sit on the toilet. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Storage at nice rear lounge again. Yeah, things you'd have to do the cooking and not 
have anyone squeeze past you. I've got no wind or have you? The bin look. Oh, Susan's found a pull out bin. Pull out bin, she. Oh. What is that? Look, yeah. that's nice. That's nice. Not features. I've been that's looking for a good, that's a good idea. Got the and might have Cameron at Home Club Design Awards. That's understandable. Like I like the wine. Little step into the back here. And TV. There's a lot of cupboards. Controls, lots of cupboards, as Sue said, magazine holder, and then two single bunks. Do you think you could stretch out on the single bunks? All right, Sheila? Yeah, they're big enough. Big enough? That's not a superb, but that would be fun. Another one for the shortlist. Lots of accessories. Bikes. Bedding. And it's a beautiful day. A few caravan sales. Pioneer caravans are here. Not an awful lot of caravans though. Most of them are made at home, and there are hundreds. Not such a big show as the Peterborough show, but much more local. Got a really friendly feel about the show today. And beautiful day for it. Little auto trail. Some show prices. Bear in mind that we're coming to the end of 2017, uh, 28? 18. Uh, come to the end of 2018. Higher chassis on this one, you do feel a little bit higher off the ground. <clears throat> Lots of headroom here. Auto trail put in a, a, a roof there, a roof light there, but it's um, not so low down on the cab, so you get more cupboard space and the feel of more standing room in the lounge. Kitchen is there. And we've got an island bed in the back. Which uh, appears to be a fair bit of room around. Okay, shelf space and locker space. Overbed heggy light. And from here, in the washroom. Nice big window in the washroom. Separate shower cubicle with a closing door, so it's all lined. A little bit different, an A class was 82, now 79995. Rapido. Let's go and have a look inside. Already you can see the uh, benefit of the A class with a big open cab, so spacious. Drop down bed and a um, really nice lounge, seating really comfortable. 
almost like a yacht in here. Lovely shiny tops. Three burner hob and a small sink in the galley here. This one's fitted with an oven. And shelving uh, drawers here. And the thing we like is a separate fridge freezer. Separate shower. Fix bed. Oh no, it's got a no. That closes off. Really nice washroom. Lots of hanging space. Has the garage and storage underneath the, what is was the settee, and we found somebody who's camping on site. So we thought we'd come and have a spot of lunch with them. We just had a nice cup of tea, and. We're getting ready to go back over at the show for another little look round. There is loads of loads of campers here. Um, if we pan around really quickly, you'll see there's loads of them. Fields of them. As far as the eye can see. Camper vans. All camping for the weekend. And over in that field, there's more over there. We're going to look at a qu quick look at an Eldest. This is a little short one. And there is your spec. Just under 42,000. Let's go and have a look inside. A low chassis again. Nice and light in here. Big window. Comfy seats. On a Peugeot. Chassis, nice little round table here. I quite like that. Occasional table. A little bit different again, isn't it? And look, a little three burner hob, which is standard on most of these motorhomes. And a Daiwu microwave. Moving to the washroom. Little wet room. Nice little cupboard up here, pop up roof light, little down lighter, and a shower, and a tiny little basin. I'm sure you could make do with that. And then a nice little lounge. This clearly makes up into a double across the van, and it looks to me like if you want to open that flap at the back there, I'm sure you can slide in storage through the van. There's lots of width here. Skylight above. And you can see down the van here, TV point to my left, storage all round. Not bad. Did I mention the wardrobe? And the fridge below and a little oven. Superb little van for two. Really like that layout. And nimble, not too long. I'm going to go into a little Besser car. £50,000. Very, very similar lounge to our Bel Aero. Slightly darker furnishings. Nice kitchen. Dual fuel hob. Microwave above. Oven and grill. Fridge. Dual fuel. 
triple fuel in fact and then Ireland bed which is a real treat that's in its day position it does fold down and make it longer and you get a little less room at the end to walk around but look at this really nice dressing area with a huge mirror and Seat belts. It's the nice lavender colour. Bit like Marmite, really. You either like it or don't, don't you? Lift up skylight. I love the lavender colour. Especially in the world. Especially in the world. Jill Phil. Oh, they're quite comfortable. Sensible place for microwave. That's not LTE. Truma. Truma heating controls are up here. French bed. It's quite long but narrow at the end, Sue. So. Is it the same as ours? It's quite it's narrower than ours at the end. Quite a squeaky, squeaky door. Get a free squeaky door. Nice towel out. Very nice shower. And basin. There's plenty of mirrors. Hanging space. Plenty of hanging space. Nice. Are they them touch lights? I don't know. I like the same as what we're in there. Got no as Sue said, you can't close the no. bedroom off. Uh, across here, but you have got a nice table storage there. It's very nice. Nice van. Nice van. On a Peugeot chassis. I was going to say, you've got a plug to make up here, that. that's got a pool down there. As well. So yeah. Lovely that. big cab. This is what you get with the A class, isn't it? You know, you get all this space. It looks innocent, isn't it? That is, yeah. That do look wider. They're wider. It's got nice bags. Probably eight foot. Yeah. It's nice. It's just a bathroom in the back. Oh, I could. Um, I could just do with a glass of wine and a couple of rounds of toast. <laughs> just short of 72,000 this one. Not in the galley. Slimline fridges with a freezer cabinet in the top. I'm sure you could probably fit a microwave in there. A bit high up though. 
good idea. There's no microwave in here, but plenty of covered space. And a uh, three burner hob and oven. And then we go through the magic door. And this is a little short van actually. Very neat. And a step there up into the all enclosed shower with a beam up, beam up Scotty door and a mirror vanity unit there more cupboard space to the left here and a skylight above cassette toilet bracket for the television which you can slide up or down with the controls over the door. Very nice. And that was an L shape, remember? Yeah. Swift with the L shape. L shape kitchen at the back, then at yeah. the front and the um, nice lounge. How oh, many variations there are on a theme. This is quite nice. Another similar lounge, L shaped kitchen. You can shut the door or not? Chill fuel hob. The door closes. Into the bedroom. Yeah, you've got the toilet that side and the shower that side. So you have and a shower, bed. which is to the left. And look at up this. the step look. into the bedroom with an island bed. And look, I've got the cabinets each side. And laundry basket. Oh, a little laundry basket with a TV point above. I'm sure you could use that as a little vanity unit. You don't need to, you've got that one. Oh, you've got one that side. Oh, is it? You've got another, you've got another in that another side. A little vanity unit that side. Looks like that might be another. And then here, being pushed, we have the bathroom. No, this one's got something else. It's got a bowl of some sort. Take a look at that. Then. Got a storage bowl. Oh yes. Put your spillables in. Space underneath. See, that's just vanity unit. We found one we like on a Mercedes Sprinter. It's a Hymer. And can you see that? Looks magic transmission. Let's go inside and have a look. Really nice roomy cab on the Sprinter. Two swivelling seats. A table that moves left, right, forward and back. Quite a nice lounge. This is the only lounge area in this model. Dual fuel hob, grill and oven, storage below with the socket and switches here. That's your gas. Under here you got room for your knives and forks, soft clothes, nice sink, storage above. Slimline fridge, a bed that's quite a bit higher, lots of storage around it. Really nice Heimer washroom. Four burner grill, hanging space below the beds, both sides. Good bit of hanging space there, and you've got the infill here that you can make this into a double bed. And more storage below there. And the selling feature for this particular model can be seen outside. in the form of a huge garage, 350 kilograms 
payload on this particular model. Another one on our shortlist, this one, down from 58970 to 54970, Auto Trail, for, on a Fiat Ducato chassis. And uh, first thing you notice, it's on, not, on a, not on a low chassis, ultra low chassis, but it's got kitchen in the back. Controls up there. And a fan in the ceiling. Dual fuel hob. Grill and oven. Bathroom in the back. Washroom. Fully lined. Storage cupboard there and cassette loo. Inside the van, microwave oven, storage for your table, fridge, triple fuel fridge, storage all around the top, drop down TV, a drop down TV in the cab, so two small seats and a lovely big lounge. That is a huge lounge, isn't it? Yeah. Now this is the equivalent of what you've got, but Just on a Fiat Ducato rather than a Mercedes, isn't it? And it's got the long benches, that's the only difference really, isn't it? Yeah. I love this big skylight and all this storage. Yeah. It's really nice. The skylight goes on forever a bit, doesn't it? And also, oh, can't open the door without pressing the button. Uh, some nice hanging space there with the heater below. And a weary walk back to the car. With a quick stop off at Mr. Softy. Why not? Join us next time. Bye now.